Yo, what's going on everyone? This is iZenny here. Today you guys are watching another figure review and this time it is on the NECA Ultimate Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic series The Last Ronin. So there's a lot of good things I gotta say about this figure and a couple of minor issues but I'll get into that. But anyway, so what we are about to get to is that box. So let's get right into it. So a quick look at the box here. We got, of course, like the really nice illustrations that we got in this line so far. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin. We have my man Leo right there, running through the fire with two of his swords. And we also have Leonardo, the illustrator right there in the corner, stuff like that. And of course, when you open it, it has the Velcro piece that shows the figure inside and also show the figure itself. As you can tell, I already took the figure out the package because, well, you know, I'm excited about getting it, man. But, you know, so here it is. So I'm just close that. We got the last one in himself right here. Leonardo is the fourth installment of this line. If I'm not mistaken, well, I mean, I'm not really mistaken. I mean, you guys know, you guys know. So doesn't matter. Anyway, we have a really cool looking art piece. And this is, of course, for that mural art piece that you put all the boxes together and create like this really epic piece. I already showed that in my last uh, review with uh, Raph, so you can go back and look at that, I guess, or look at images online or, or something. I don't know. I don't have every figure in this line. I, I need to. But anyway, so here's Leo with a couple of promo pics and also the bio about the last Ronin and also the last one itself NECA in the bottom it shows you all the people who worked on the photos who worked on the drawings and the prototypes and stuff like that and yeah that's about it for the box for accessories he comes with his stoic head or more of like a stern type of face and this one looks really nice i kind of like it how it you know the scarf is like covering his mouth a little bit i don't know i don't know why i like doing that it just looks really badass he also has a alternative head of him looking angry with clenching teeth obviously and also with an alternative headband for hands, he has these clawing hands, these gripping ones, and also these karate chop ones. All of them look pretty well done and really well sculpted. And of course, it's not leader without, without his weapons. He has five sets of kunai blades, I believe that's what they are, and also two of his katanas. These look really nice. The only gripe I have with these is they're not metallic like it doesn't have that metallic finish like the like the kunai does which kind of bothers me they still look really nice but i much prefer the metallic finish instead of this flat finish they decided to go with but aside from that the accessories are pretty good so taking a much closer of Leo here he's packed with a lot of detail NECA really did kill it like he looks straight out of the comic like he looked like he just jumped straight out of the comic is how well detailed this is and also like the heavier black lines that they went through I feel like that really make it pop and also like the bandage wraps like the color of the bandage wraps that they used on him it's not like some generic type of white it looks like this dirtyish type of white to give it more i i want to say more of that realistic look and also like this piece right here um i did see some people online remove this but i'm not going to it's like i'm gonna i feel like i'm gonna have a hard time you know keeping it in when I do take it off and like even in the back there's like there's just so much detail going on and I like the pants too like as that um 
damn uh, what, what what's this called i want to say that that wash finish to it I, I believe that's what that's called proportionally it looks pretty good too although i do have a bit of a qc issue i don't know if you can really tell or not but this arm right here is a bit warped and i think it's due to like the material that they use because like the joints as i go over the articulation you notice that some of the joints feel much smoother compared to like most other NECA figures which is a good thing because sometimes like whenever i pose around a NECA figure like like it feels like a battle just to you know pose them around a little bit but aside from that this leo man he looks really badass like even in the vanilla pose like he looks badass i really like this figure a lot all right so scaling time here he is standing next to the jada toys mega man and also the nandroid sonic which i have not viewed yet i've been procrastinating also why i'm middle of comparing these two as figures how come we never got a sonic and ninja turtle crossover i feel like that would kind of go crazy and they both serialized by idw so i mean i kind of wonder why that never happened i didn't feel like getting my other last owning figures from the shelf so here he is standing next to the NECA wanderer from the mirage teenage ninja, ninja turtles and also here he is standing next to both the figma saber and also the figma makoto sakiban all right so for articulation his head can go up and down his bandana can do a 360 also his head can do a full 360 despite this thing right here around the arms he can split no problem and i like these joints like i know people had issue with the karai figure because how the way these were made i don't have karai or casey jones yet because i know both both of them have the same type of joints but on the leo is it like i feel like it works pretty good but they can they can go sideways both of them can go sideways with no issue. You can also do a full 360. Well, on the bicep, you can do a full 360. Um, th a main issue I forgot to point out earlier is that the paint on this figure it tends to chip off a bit. So that's a little annoying. So like when every time I move the figure, like there's some white stuff that's um, either top of his head or something like that so we're gonna have to keep brushing it off as I go with articulation and stuff like that hopefully it won't keep dealing with that any longer no it's still happening anyway he has double jointed arms this arm can go back but it will take a little bit of effort so that's pretty good around the wrist to do his 360 this is a wrist joint but it doesn't really in, so I'm not gonna bother around the torso area I want to say this is a diaphragm I think this is a diaphragm I'm pretty sure this is a diaphragm but it can also go 360 as well so that's pretty good so there is some type of cut on this figure around the torso area unlike with the Raphael which is just I believe he was just like one piece but anyway, so around his legs, he can do the splits pretty good. Well, it's still not perfect, but I mean, it's pretty close. Around the thigh, it can swivel. And we have some double jointed knees right there. And it can also go 360. We have like a single foot there's no toe hinge or anything like that so we can but it can do an ankle walker you can also bend that far and that far in so the articulation on this guy aside from the paint chipping off i do find that to be a bit annoying 
but aside from that like this dude can really pose like i'm telling you guys like as soon as i took this dude out the package i i could have hardly I, like i hardly put him down because that's how good the possibility is like i honestly think i might like this a bit more than the Raphael, despite the fact that both of them are built Sim well, I, I don't want to say similarly, but in terms of like joints and stuff, they pretty much have like the same level of possibility. But I don't know something about this Leo man, like the fact that his joints feels much smoother than the Raphael and all the other NECA figures we've gotten in this line so far. And I, I don't own every NECA figure, so I don't know if this is that common, but. But I really do like how smooth the joints are with these. So hopefully once I get like the other figures like the Splinter, the Donatello, and the Michelangelo. They'll feel just about as smooth as this Leo here. But yeah man, I'm honestly impressed. Like this is definitely, this might be my figure of the year. But who knows man. But I honestly can't put this down. Like this figure is amazing. Just amazing. That that's all I gotta say. When it comes down to my final thoughts on this figure, this is definitely probably one of the best last Ronin figures in the neckline, at least in my opinion. The articulation is really well done. I love the possibility. The paint and sculpting is phenomenal. This is definitely this is definitely a nine out of 10 figure for me. It's definitely a nine out of 10. The amount of accessories, and it's not a lot of accessories, it's nothing too crazy, but I feel like, I feel like what you see is what you get, right? But something about this figure, man, it's just, it's really fun and I can't, I can't put it down. I don't know what it is, man. It, But it's most likely just the articulation, feeling a lot smoother and, and also, it might have a lot to do with the fact that Leo is my favorite character, so there's that, I guess. But aside from that, um, well, aside from the painting issues, of course, and also the sword not being this metallic finish as I prefer, this is still a really solid figure. If you're a fan of The Last Ronin, or if you're just a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan in general, I'd say definitely pick up this Leo figure. If also you Leo fan too. But anyway, so that's pretty much my final thoughts on this figure. And well, I kind of messed that up a little bit. But anyway, this concludes my review on the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin Leo by NECA. Alright, I'm just I'm just in the video right here. I'm messing up. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.